What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis video. All right guys, first I want to just thank you for joining the live stream that happened last night. Uh, we had roughly about 800 stamina worth of runs for the community. A lot of people got their umbrellas and parasols and uh, we had a lot of happy people leaving and a lot of happy people staying. So I want to just thank you guys for taking the time to join and for having a great time. And for those who didn't get it, remember join the Discord, it is in the description. We are running more people through today to get your parasols from that co-op mode to get everybody a maxed out Zack weapon or at least close to it if you can't finish the solo missions. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is something that some people are having a hard time understanding and that is the sigil system and how it works and how you want to handle it and where to get the sigils themselves. So, sigils work a specific way. So let's talk a little bit about them and what they're there for. So sigils are there, there are three specific sigils in the game currently, okay? And the way, what sigils are for essentially is to stop a boss from performing a special mechanic or a special deadly move by breaking those sigils and the total quantity that they have, okay? Sometimes you'll see us one sigil and sometimes you'll see two sigils. And if you go to a boss, so let's just look for an example here, I'll show you one. Go to solo content. Let's just pick really any boss at this point. Let's go all the way to the bottom. If you look at the boss right here, it's gonna tell you what sigil you want. I mean, you could have just seen it there, right here, right? It's back on the other screen as well. So you just know for this specific fight, you're gonna need to bring this sigil along with you, okay? So you gotta make sure your characters, all of them, should have that sigil equipped. It's better to have everybody have it, okay? So I'm gonna go back here for a second. And we're gonna look at some other ones real quick, okay? So you guys can see this one here now has two, has a circle and a triangle. So for this boss, you're gonna to need to bring both of those sigils with you. Now, the reason why it's important to bring both is because some bosses will have a plethora of sigils to break and you don't wanna have one character performing that because sometimes you just won't have enough DPS, sorry, not DPS, enough sigil breaks through the whole fight to stop the mechanic from going through. So that's how you find out which boss has which sigil and how to break it. Now the question is for a lot of people is, how do you equip sigils? How do you synthesize them? Okay, so first off, it's gonna be a material most of the time unless you have a specific weapon like uh, the Buster Sword, which has a built-in one. So when you synthesize, you're gonna go to synthesis here, okay? And then you're gonna go to the following icons. I'm gonna make another video today that's gonna help you guys focus on what to create and where to go in terms of what your goals are. I'm gonna help you guys set some goals and how to focus on those goals and what to create and how to, how to get there, but we'll make that a second video. But for this specifically, every time you click on one of these, it'll show you what materia can actually create these sigils and break them. So you can have either a ruin here, which is going to be a magical attack, or you can have yourself a physical attack, which is the blow, okay? So completely up to the, the weapon you have and how you wanna handle it. Some of your weapons will have materials that require magic attack. Some of them will have physical attack only. Sorry for the, the blinking, it's the emulator. So let's go ahead and create one here. So you can choose what you wanna create. I'm gonna go ahead and synthesize this one. And then you guys can see here, it's 21 minutes. We'll just do a quick shortcut here and pop it up. And you'll have a choice to sometimes get a one or two with some substats, right? This is the sigil here. Now, what you end up doing to make it work is you just equip it, simply. Now, the best way to equip it, though, is to understand what, what units need what. So, for example, the best method of equipping is this, all right? So, let's just say we're going to go back to the infamous uh, Murasame here. And actually, you know what? Let's go to enhance. Uh, no, actually, you know what? Let's go to equip. Let's go to my party. Go to cloud use cloud as the example okay so you guys can see here instantly that these materia require physical materia to be equipped on there okay very important to note that now this one here is uh rune rub rune ra blow which gives me the circular one okay it doesn't require the circular one but i have it on there because there's a boss that i fought recently that needed that so that's the one i equip so you equip it on something that's physical and you instantly get the material that works. Now, if you look at somebody like Aerith though, who requires a magic one, right? The ability one, you wanna equip something with magic. Cause see, look, I equipped this same thing with the X, X Sigma on a magical one or an ability one, or this is magic, magic attack. And look, I'm not getting it, right? So these ones here, you definitely want to make sure they're equipped in the right place. Now, Fire Blow is only here for one reason and one reason only, to be honest with you guys, it's the stats. That's the reason why I have it on there. 
But outside of that, this will, does not activate the materia because this requires a magic material while this is a physical material, okay? So remember, anything that says blow will belong to the physical. Anything that says magic has to be a magic one. So in here, instead of having this, you actually wanna remove this one and you wanna, cat, and wanna create this one. So let me just show you guys real quick. So let's just go ahead and create it, okay? Just so it makes more sense for everybody. So synthesize, we're gonna synthesize Ruin. We're gonna make the X one here. And we're gonna cast, we're gonna create this one without the blow. This is gonna be the magic one. We're gonna add some materials. Just add seven here for now. Just to guarantee, let's see, not even seven. Let's go back. Do five, five. Add that, that'll guarantee a two star, right? And I mean, look, you can add, you can add more if you want, if you want the uh, extra substats, right? Just need to add, actually, substat plus two guarantee. Can we go times, yeah, you know what? Let's do this, five and two. So there we go. Three substats guaranteed. Okay, let's go ahead and add that. Synthesize it. And you guys are going to see here 23 minutes. So mostly going to be a two star, maybe a one star if we're unlucky. But let's go ahead and confirm. So we got a two star. Now what? Now this here though is going to be available. Okay, to go back to our character and party and equip that. Right. So you're gonna we're gonna go back to the solo party. Go back to Aerith. And we're gonna go ahead and equip this instead, okay? So which one do we just do? We did, uh, let's go filter, and we know it's a ruin. We got this one specifically. Go back, and it was this one that we just created, right? So this is the magic one, there it is. So if you equip this, you can see now it activates that, okay? So that's that's the main reason why you wanna do that. that. That's what gives you that extra magic damage or ability from there. Now, the thing to note is substats are gonna matter a lot. So if she's mostly healing, you might might not really care about the extra damage she pulls off with this magic 20%, but you ideally want to keep re-rolling and re-synthesizing until you get better substats and then level that up. So let's go to a boss and show you guys how it works, okay? So some of you might be new to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one of those bosses that I was just showing you, and we'll show you how to break the specific moves on a enemy boss that's activating them, okay? So let's go to, sure, let's do this one because it has two. So we'll select, uh, actually this power is really low. So let's pick something with a little higher power. Hmm. Let's go back and let's do the premium drops, premium quests. Okay, these have higher power. So we can do something a little, let's be a little higher, harder for us to get through. So I'm looking for the genomes. Okay, so this one requires circle, okay? So we can try, actually, you know what, which one requires, what does this require? This requires three of them. So we'll do this one here, this is perfect, okay? So you can see here, the only one we don't have is this triangle one here or this, this diamond one. You can't get that one, so don't worry about it. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my stand potions here just to guys show you guys how this works, okay? We're gonna run one of these, okay? So that there is gonna be the last thing you'll break. It's just pretty much any sigil attack or any attack, I believe. If I recall, I have to double check that last diamond one. Once you destroy the others, you can do that one and it, and it pretty much breaks it, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and run this on semi-auto. And we're gonna let the DPS do what they do. We'll use our healer just to keep everyone alive. DPS knows what they're doing in this game. Uh, I could, I actually say that and then I know Red 13 also has problems sometimes, but okay, so here's motor nuts. So you can see I have it on semi, switch it to the healer. So there's the, there's this the, the, you can see right there right look now you got to break this see I'm breaking them someone so you can do triangle or you can do X you broke it now look these ones here will break as we cast or do moves to it there we go broken right so we'll do our limit this is where you want to do as much DPS as you possibly can during this phase because everything does more damage so don't worry about casting anything but your specials here okay just do as much damage as you can. And that's it. Voila, sigil break, death to a boss. Very straightforward. So that's how it works, guys. So before you go into any fight, make sure each character has the proper sigils equipped. You can do a magic version and you can do a physical version. And it's extremely important to note the difference between the two, especially for your weapon materia. It'll just make your life a lot easier to complete if you can do it that way. All right, guys, this is Payne. Hope the video helped. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.